okay so uh, today we just discussed uh, one important concept that is called snapshot so snapshot testing right so why snapshot is required first we have to know the what is snapshot <clears throat> so whenever we are creating any test case we are writing some test cases right so it will it uh, so what about the functions what about the block we are adding so it can be internally mapped with some basic functionalities if you have created one test case right you are writing the test case if test case will fail so without snapshot we cannot tally these things where the changes has been occurred so it's internally mapping so that's why whenever we create some test case if it will be in the snapshot mode so you can get the history or either the change whatever you are doing that is expected or unexpected so we can get the reference from that snapshot so that's why every version whenever we update the new version the new thing that will be updated the snapshot version okay so this is one concept of vi test the snapshot was there also in the jest but in the vi test you also indicate the snapshot testing just let me uh, just adding one snapshot over here so i create one new test snapshot dot test dot js yeah import two things for that one is expect from vi test and other is it these two things you have to add and just write on small test this or lower this this thing you can add you will add the describe snapshot testing and your const response and add one function B uppercase. We have to pass some params. And that will be an object or string. And return. Items not to buckets. Call that name is add expect that response and dot to match snapshot this is the static function of snapshot first create block for snapshot testing will run what the comment npm run test unit so npm run 
Let's do it. can see one snapshot these logs are coming right one written because we have added this thing snapshot so if we go and automatically one snapshot is created right you can see now snap dot snap name and internally it will uh, means uh, convert this thing snapshot testing to upper case this is name course that's coming so whatever if you add this thing in your code on snapshot.test right, to match snapshot then it will create one snapshot file and also you can do the inline snapshot we will add one inline snapshot let's see what happens uh, same thing to lower case I will create one function lower case Lower case. Oh. Response. Response. Uh, in lower case. Lower case. Add. Function. In lower case. Just click on params. Copy it. And return to lower case. I expect response dot to match in episode. So I think uh, yes. Just to write the order. Last to do it. I test dot common line. The expectation. No. I didn't say inline, uh, but in snap is not created. So. I'll remove this thing one minute. I'll remove this thing. Delete here. Delete. Now only. I will do this thing. Read dot only. What happened? I going to see. Okay, in line, I think not created. No. Too much in lens snapshot. If now I will go and create 
only have what happened? Hmm. Understood, right? When I add this snapshot, so it does not create any inter external file. Only this file are coming. Yes. Uh, Kosik, uh, actually, yes. I have doubt uh, with the snapshot. Uh, actually, whatever you are doing, that we can do it in simple VI test. Okay. So, mm -hmm. why we are doing uh, with the snapshot? Uh, so, I'm taking a snapshot is mapping internally, right? You can see whatever you have written, but in the basic spec or skipping suite or any other test case, right? Mm -hmm. If uh, like this test case, like some. Okay, or Axios. Okay. Yesterday I saw you, right? So yes. in the Axios test case, if anything is failed, right, or anything any problem, right, for the reference you cannot see that internally how it's happened. Where is the click points, right? So you can see the exports in in that they have given the total thing, right? How is internally happened? Dot snap file. Okay. <clears throat> means if, if you in certain uh, cases snapshot testing is required okay means any test case if you are written like basic spec okay or only sweet test case that uh, I, I have added but whatever the test case are there but if you add the snapshot over there na, in mm -hmm. dot snapshot the means they are equal if dot to equal is not a snapshot testing right if you create some snapshot then it will automatically come okay means you have to comparison your output what type of output you are getting from the snapshot testing right okay. that's why okay. okay understood yeah thank you and your uh, the use case mainly is that uh, when you uh, saw that your ui means user interface the react you have creating some ui right mm -hmm. the html css and it does not automatically change unexpectedly that's time snapshot testing is very much required okay okay understood hmm and the comparison i told you right? it means you have taken some snapshot of picture right one picture you have taken mm -hmm. same thing in the snapshot means the what about the component we are testing now right? Mm -hmm. So their snapshot is internally taken. Means it's a rep blueprint. If you create one object from mm -hmm. a class, right? The mm -hmm. so class is a blueprint. So yeah, structure it's... is there. And object you have created, right? Same thing. So snapshot is created auto automatically. Whatever the test case executed, one snapshot taken. Okay. Okay. Understood means you have <coughs> you can uh, after that you can tally this thing means component me kya kya hua tha. so internally if you run every concept so it will automatically come here in that in that part that's why it's required okay mm, it means uh, whatever internally happening uh, that uh, will come in uh, that 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 taken on snapshot whether up, uh, if you're going to travel right or snapshot later on picture snapshot mm -hmm. so same thing so it's like replica set rare rare gap keep up a testing up for your either pay there right mm -hmm. there's a if you building real react project now mm -hmm. or angular project so is there dot map one folder created dot map in the build folder in the react project you can see reactor angular project internal build if you don't do the production build right mm -hmm. so dot map one folder created so dot map folder what it does it automatically connected the file system where the file created the the structure when you see right one uh, grid in the view test ui when i run this thing one minute mm -hmm. one grid is coming na, in the ui ah, ah yes the same same thing is internally it's showing the inter connectivity of the test case okay that is written
ओके राम देते And this test case, right? One test was there. Uh, two internal thing I saw in Sony earlier, right? Two files are created at the time. Only all test pass this file and code. Okay, but your if we click this thing, open in editor, so it automatically redirect to this. What is internally create one folder? You can see this folder is created. That's dot snap for testing purpose. Kill you are comparison. Kill you take it's the internal flow create cut there. We are writing the snapshot testing, export what details, snapshot testing, right? Hmm. Yeah. Export me, it's got name the snapshot test, testing. And this is what you passed, two uppercase. So two uppercase, now I have to change the snapshot testing. Now, this is what you have to do. And I have to run it once again. Let's see what happens. You can see again it will create so history will get up go history right the panic at the a big guy I'll snap the day car on that the history we cannot see the history right ah yes understood it yeah yeah understood I got me could be only a bit lower case car got on guys go so it will come the lower case this function right you know me did it down as the course it got it up Well done. Let's make a search here in a minute. Lower case. Yeah, one minute. The problem is here. ये बोल रहे टेस्टिंग डब्ल्यूडब्ल्यू तो आपन के सवन मिसमैच ओके ये ये तो ऑनली करके बस कॉल करते हैं कुनी बिल वर्केस एक मिनट बिल वर्केस व्हाटेवर यू पासिंग ना कोसिंग ये सिंगल कोमा है ना सिंगल है ना कोट सिंगल कोट है ना इसको हाँ डबल कोट होना चाहिए राइट नो 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 पहले भी तो मैं सिंगल नॉर्मल कोट ही भेजा था सेम थिंग भेजा था ना बिल वर्केस में तो पहले आपन किस में क्या भेजा था कोसिंग अब मैं रन करता हू
डिलीट ये फास्ट वाला जो साहब से हिस्ट्री है ना ये कौन सी ये फास्ट सिंगल कोड देन डबल कोड उसके बाद कौन सी है नहीं 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 ये तो इंटरनल मैप है इसके साथ उसका डिफरेंस है ये वहां पे जो बनाऊंगा ये यहां पे आएगा ठीक है इसमें इसके साथ जैसा नहीं है कोई तो रिजल्ट एक मिनट में इसको आई थिंक मैं काटता हूं अपर केस हुआ आते हैं सब में अब इसको मैं लोअर केस करता हूं और मैं लोअर केस करता हूं लोअर केस में इसको मैं मिस मैच बोल रहा है कि हम अच्छा टू मैच देखता हूँ हाँ मतलब इसके लिए जो लेबलिंग था ना लेबलिंग के लिए हो रहा था ये लोअर केस हाँ हाँ अब अभी मैं इसको अगर आप आपकेस करते तो ये रोज देगा था इस अगर आप आपकेस करते हो ना इसमें हाँ हाँ अब इसमें लोअर केस रखा और इसमें ये मैच कर रहा है ऐसे मतलब सैप्सोर जो है इसके साथ इसके साथ इसका मैपिंग कर रहा है इंटरनेट ठीक है अगर मैं सैप्सोर नहीं रखता तो ये कुछ भी लिखता अब चल जाता ये कोड राइट इसका मतलब क्या है इंटरनल इट विल चेक दैट हिस्ट्री अंदर सुनिए इसे अभी इसके पता चला क्या किसलिए हो रहा है राइट अगर इंटरनली वो अगर मैं लोअर केस दिया ना अब मैं आपार केस करूंगा इसमें देखिए एरर 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 देगा ये इट विल थ्रो एरर क्योंकि लोअर केस है मैंने आपार केस दिया स्नैप पर टेस्टिंग कर रहा हूं और एवर करता हूं ना हम्म एरर दिया राइट राइट हां समझा एग्जिस्टिंग अगर है तो उसी से चेक एग्जिस्टिंग है नहीं एग्जिस्टिंग है एंड आप स्नैपशॉट टेस्टिंग कर रहे हो तभी उसको एरर देगा ये हां तभी अगर मैंने डिलीट किया है स्नैपशॉट तब ये चल जाएगा चल जाएगा लेकिन ये जो इंटरनली चेक कर रहा है ये चीज को ओके ओके अंडरस्टैंड मैं कुछ भी करता हूं अब मैं ऑटोमेटिक रन करूंगा तो फाइल रीसेट रीसेट हो रहा है मतलब पहले से चेक कर रहा है देखिए आप वो गैप बंद किया ना मैंने हम्म हम्म ये हुआ अभी मैं इसके अंदर गया नाउ आई एम गोइंग देन यू कैन सी सम गैप्स आर कमिंग सो और एवरी टाइम रीराइट्स फ्रॉम इट मेमोरी एंड एंड टेक दैट स्नैपशॉट ओके ओके तो स्नैपशॉट के साथ टेस्टिंग कर रहे हो हां ये दैट इट वेरी यूजफुल आई थिंक दैट मींस अगर आपको प्रोजेक्ट में स्नैपशॉट टेस्टिंग रिक्वायरमेंट है होता है ना आ, अभी तो भीआई टेस्ट नॉर्मल नॉर्मल टेस्ट केसेस है ठीक है हां लेकिन नॉर्मल टेस्ट केस है लेकिन आपका ये कुछ ऐसा कुछ यू आर सेट सीइंग दिस टाइप ऑफ सिनेरियो राइट यहां पे यू हैव टू यू हैव टू टैली देन द स्नैपशॉट टेस्टिंग विल बी इक्वल टू हां यस यूआई यूआई टेस्टिंग के लिए व्हाई व्हेन यू आर डूइंग द यूआई टेस्ट राइट Why component testing? That time snapshot testing is required. Okay, okay, understood. Okay, yeah. two more cases. One or uh, another test case is that um, uh, that is one minute.
Now you can also debug one one concept debugging the test case. That is also important, right? Means whenever you feel one means uh, stuck anywhere, right? You cannot um, go forward that oh, whatever we are getting stuck this thing. So that time you need to do uh, some de debugging skills, and that's why. Uh, one minute. Have to install one thing. npm install minus g ndb In the beginning, yeah. now taking one expect. Let's see debugger say it will add or not. This point. Run and debug this things. Debug terminal. Good yes. One chosen is created, not
Okay, I think the UI test case is written. I mean, uh, from that UI side, we can debug in this thing. But here, NBT, so let's put it in. Uh, I have to check these things. Okay. Here we can add what. I just try. JSON file we have created type, 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 type. This cell file is there. Um, yeah. Just I don't think. Configuration, we can write a uh, type that is node uh, and request. And name just to debug current type of testing files. Okay, so it files internal. Comma, um, uh, 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 node model. See, does not check. Node modules. Program. is root test vi test dot mjs it should be there and has done a double file. 
the test case on test on test is written if we run this thing what happened mm. yeah. No test. Hmm. Now it's coming, right? Now if I do this, it is continue. Uh, you can see that, right? Hello. Hi, yes, sir. Yes. So uh, here we can use this. We have to create the launch file. That's why this file have to add. Then you can also debug from here also. Okay, from the test case. Okay. Any questions? No, in total, three days uh, so completed. Now we don't have any question. We are good. <laughs> but you are using this thing that my question. My senior project, uh, you are using this test. Hi, yes, actually. Yes, yeah. um, yes. Oh, yes. What kind of what? What kind of scenario you are facing in, in um, your project? Yeah, it's, it's about to uh, check about the components rendering and its behavior. So I would like to ask what uh, ask a couple of questions like yes. uh, like uh, validating uh, the props and uh, component rendering behavior. Like uh, when uh, when uh, we are rendering uh, multiple component like same component at a, uh, in multiple time. Mm -hmm. At that time, how will uh, uh, we test the component? Like the same component is being rendered multiple times. Scenario okay. is uh, validate, validating our props. Like the validation depends on our props. Like how it's, it can be done. And uh, and one more question was there. Like I was using a clear a cleanup method for the clearing up the dome, but uh, huh. I think. So it was not running actually. It was it was not cleaning the dome. So uh, what is the uh, uh, correct way? So to have, you, have, you, have, have you done before each after each concept? Yes, yes. Actually, uh, into uh, describe uh, and uh, before writing any test case using mm. it, uh, at least yeah. you, uh, I just like, like uh, use the hook of before you uh, before each and after each, mm. and then uses the cleanup function like uh, it's. Uh, given by i think vi test or uh, mm -hmm. react test so uh, I, but it was not working properly i think 
so uh, the cause uh, why i i am asking that is, is this mm. uh, there was there, there was a case uh, i was getting the component uh, using mm. test data test id and the component is being rendered twice uh, actually mm. it's a scenario to render the component twice and okay. the data test id is same but uh, i have whenever i am getting uh, like uh, uh, whatever the component is render get by test id so mm -hmm. it's saying that multiple component is uh, multi multiple element found so uh, uh, yeah that that was the scenario i uh, then how uh, what procedure i have to feel, uh, follow okay so multiple time component are, are uh, showing right means the re-rendering process right yes yes so uh, have you tried this pi on method vi dot pi on v i dot pi on spy on there is one method is there no, no actually i uh, i'm not uh, i'm not aware of it like what is spy on the spy on is one concept is there right you continually watch whatever the new components in the mm -hmm. in that project so it automatically track the records okay. Spy on. Okay. okay and then you can uh, one is and jest you can see if you're using jest so hello rendering process also be there okay hello okay. render hmm. so okay. here you can use the spy on method in the spy on method it automatically connect uh, the whatever the new re new renders are coming na? whatever the new data are coming new components are rendered so you can get the data from there Okay. Yeah. And then you can do this part by on method. Oh. And for the component rendering, I can show that uh, uh, com component, you can see the multiple component obviously there, right? Yes. And one component call to other component, and that component also call the other component, right? Uh, like component inheritance, it, it's it's going good, but but if a same if same components is rendering twice, like mm -hmm. uh, no, then 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 you have to check first your coding logic. Why the component is rendering every day? It's not the unit test case fault. Uh, it's not using unit test case fault. Um, I'm asking about if if the component is being rendered twice. Actually, mm -hmm. it's uh, it's in our requirement. If it's not a, any error. It's in requirement that uh, the same component is being rendered twice. Same component being rendered twice is a requirement. Like, 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 uh, it's a uh, like there is a component and it mm -hmm. it draw the label, and uh -huh. uh, I have to draw two labels. So I have called the component twice, and it's it's drawing two labels uh, with the same component. So it's a, it's a behavior of the component uh, rendering twice. Uh, so um, I think that uh, uh, component rendering method, uh, whenever in the one use case that you use the use effect hooks, right? Use effect uh -huh. hooks. Eh? So use effect hooks you can use. Then if you not add the dependency, right? So component is re rendered automatically. Once you add the dependency, then component will render as per the dependency level. Right, if I using one use state hooks, right, and the use state hooks, if I add the dependency, so as per dependency, the component will re render. Ah, yes, okay. just uh, after the class or any other day, please share I means uh, connect with me. I want to see whatever you told, right? Okay, that's understood that component, but component regenerating method should means uh, you have to check in the unit test case also, right? Actually, uh, uh, actually, uh, it's not about re-rendering again. It's mm -hmm. like a component is calling twice. Like uh, I'm using same component two mm -hmm. times. So uh, in the in our DOM, like whatever the test case DOM, mm -hmm. it's uh, it's creating the same data test ID or uh, uh, like I have called it two times. So it's so creating... different different data test ID should be showing. Uh, okay, so I have to pass it manually, like data test ID, different, different, right? Yes, yes, different data test ID because one, one, once the component is painting na, in that dome, right? Yes. So one, one node ID will be created. 
taken by other node id will be created that should not be same okay that should not be same it means you you have to differentiate na two com two components then that so okay. with the id you have to uh, differentiate this thing okay and uh, and proc rendering whatever you told can you please share what, like what? Uh, I was asking about the props validation. Like, if we have some props dependency on the on the component, uh -huh. so how we can we can check that prop is like uh, how we can validate on prop uh, validate a prop. So props validation only simple method in React also provided. Means props con if you add the props config in the React JS, right? So you have to create an object. So this prop is string, this prop is number that you want to tell, right? This prop is object, this prop is boolean, this this you want to tell about, right? Um yes, actually. Okay. Uh what, actually, what, actually what, I was I was asking you, like there is a data uh, like uh, there is a boolean data is passed by the prop mm -hmm. and that that boolean data uh so you, have a, you have to create the interface you have to create that at active interface okay. from so you only check in the react or, or in the react level react only, only validate this thing okay okay if you want to validate in the unit test that's a different thing but from validation in the react is also there Okay, uh, like I have implemented the interfaces and the type costing, so it's it's mm -hmm. being uh, it's it's being used in the application. It, but it, one thing is the props types. One thing is there, right? In the React type yes. with prop types. Yes, yes actually, it's there actually. Mm -hmm. um, I'm asking, is there a way in uh, like in React to uh, validate these props also? Uh, this. If jest uh, may jest is providing this from validation, right? In the VI test, I think you have to create some mocks and you have to throw these things I means in the validation. Okay. Mocks you have to create. Okay, okay. Mocks, how how it will be using that? Yes. Okay. Okay. I'll go through it about like what how the mocks exactly works. So mock mock VI dot mock VI dot mock. Yes. Uh -huh. So you have to create the mock. And yes, okay. then mock will internally check this thing. That we can do it. Okay. Any questions or anyone has uh, showing the problem means any other other kind uh, of scenario? Um the way uh, like um not any scenario. I'm I am i i just want to ask uh, like how how many types of selection method in the in the test cases, like if we are rendering a component. Uh, in a test case, so like uh, I know, like we can select it by test ID uh, and data test ID and uh, get it get by text. So, like, ref, reference, reference, use reference, use, use reference, use reference, yes, based on it. Okay, okay. Don't it's use get element by ID. Don't use any other uh, tag element. Okay. Okay. Use ref React has provided. Okay. Use, use ref react has provided and one thing i forgot that in the unit testing now you mm -hmm. can also use that uh, thing means here you can see in the config right in my uh what the configuration is there uh, yeah yeah this thing in the react one minute uh, Here you can config this thing. Define config, okay. In the define config, you can add additional parameters to run okay. the internal test case. If you add the via white dot config, here mm -hmm. your DOM element, your props element, you can add. You get, okay. You also see that, right? Yes. VI just plugin to the end. That means you can internally use everything means uh, react uh, components like uh, excel feature constructor everything you can use 
in the plugin. Okay. okay. Hmm. So they have added already. So React will be used. Okay. Hmm. Thank you. Yeah. And uh, I uh, just check uh, if any other test case I found. Nah? So I'll definitely share with you. Those okay. Test case. So like okay. you told me the prop type, whatever is there, right? Yes. That, there okay. is multiple test scenario. You cannot complete everything. But uh, if you want, uh, then one, yeah. one, yes, yes, one main thing is also you can check uh, window location reloading. That you can also check window location. So okay. window location test case you also be showing, right? In this kind of problem also with the re-rendering method that you do the window config that window are different different configuration like that. So how we can uh, reload the window? Reloading is not required in the React side, but those are JavaScript. This mm -hmm. method also important. Okay. So that is I will share and also the props type you do right? So I will share these things. Props type I have I have to see. I will share this thing. Okay. Thank you. Any anything? Anything you want to say or? No, we are good. Okay. Or any means uh, in 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 your project, uh, you are using test bi test or both or only one bi test. Actually, uh, there is uh, it's using both like jest and vi test. Okay, so uh, which is more easier? You you think jest or vi test? Actually, I'm new to it, I, and uh, I don't know like which is more more easier. Like somewhere, I'm also not able to uh, differentiate that. Uh, oh, uh, like what which uh, concept I'm using? Like, uh, but. I'm getting things. Uh, I'm I'm going through the tutorial, some blogs, and I'm reading mm. about that. But uh, I think VI test is easier than JST. I think. Obviously, mm, VI test is very easy. I also feel because JST, the configuration, there is so many configuration is there, right? Ah yes, yes. But VI test you can install complete. Yes. This part is obviously there. Also, one thing that uh, the mock file, right? Uh, VI test me. You can uh, spy on me. I will tell, right? Spy on. Uh, hello. Hi. Yes. Uh, spy on me. I will tell you, right? VI dot spy on, right? So you you also use this VI dot spy on method. Okay. I'll, so, I'll spy on, uh, so spy on method. What is it? So it will, they say function, if you write vi.fn, right? vi function you can add. So spy on method internally checked and that implementation of whatever mock you have created, na? 
that हाँ. mock mock implementation it can check internal and it will continuously watch this thing so just go through the vi dot spy on mirror okay okay i'll go through that one one thing also that vi dot mock you have to create the mock okay and you also import the mock so this thing are there vi you have import the vi this thing you have you import vi hmm. this and you can add this way this is before all function you can use this method vi dot mock you can see right mock is coming and input mock that also reset model it will come okay i like uh... Is it goes out of like outer section of uh, describe or no 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 it's coming yeah it's not inside the describe right yes yeah, yes not I just added here yeah, but it's coming okay, before okay. this method okay before all after all and iterate okay. the objects yes and also you can import. Your guys say both are not there, but they don't do mock. You can create your mock. You can see right path. You have to add the path, and then the mock will be created. And spy on on or at from the VI. Spy on. You can see spy on property. Right. Okay. This spy on method also be there. Like this type of thing. Conspy. That's I'm writing. Okay, the syntax. Okay. Yeah. Why on and when variable is given const name. Name okay. This can be method. This can be name. Anything. Dot. Mock implementation. Or uh, it can be on a function. This way you have to write in the value, uh, like on how you can check course. It changes the okay. this value to inspire on method is coming. So, whatever the inside the name, it will check mock implementation method. Okay, yes, okay. So this is a value. Okay, you want to check. And this value will come, then you will be go the next step for spy.
and if i will find some prop validation or t i will definitely say okay this value okay in one react you you want some react uh, react a prop validation kind of thing right in the right yes 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 that that i i said okay so if you feel anything good or bad you can say it with the form of feedback okay okay the form will be there and if any other in future if i will find anything so i'll definitely share with you and one class is definitely i'll add okay if this thing here, i'll get it okay thank you hmm. okay, okay thank you bye thank you thank you for mm. yes thank you